Monday marks three years since the Newtown school shootings. Connecticut's governor this morning vows to do what the United States Senate would not when it comes to gun control. Donald Malloy announced Thursday he will sign an executive order. Those appearing on federal watch list would be banned from buying guns in his state. Governor Malloy is with us now from Hartford for an interview you will only see on CBS this morning. Good morning, Governor. Good morning. Tell us why you decided to do this. Well, I, it, there's a whole bunch of reasons, not the least of which is to make us safer. Uh, several days before the attack in California, I read this report about how many times uh, people on the terrorism watch list had been allowed to, to legally buy guns in America. It was actually 2,043 times. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make people safer. It makes it, a, I think, a, a much more dangerous situation. Uh, it, it's come to our attention, um, and it's time to do something about it. And yeah, there was an attempt to do something about it. It and the NRA beat that back, uh, and it's time for you know right-thinking people to stand up and say if somebody's done something that has them on the terrorism watch list, then perhaps we should you know uh, temporarily delay them from buying a gun or permanently ban them from buying a gun uh, in a state like Connecticut. That that's what we want to do. Uh, people make a couple of points. One is that the people who committed the acts in San Bernardino did not uh, appear on any no fly list, number one. Number two, uh, they ask, what list will you use? And number three, they ask, suppose this is true in Connecticut, will they not simply go to another state? And what's really necessary is federal legislation. Of course, federal legislation is necessary. Uh, there should be no gun sales that are not subject to a background check. Overwhelmingly, Americans agree with that. Overwhelmingly, uh, members of the NRA agree that there should be background checks. Uh, of course, that's part of this debate, and, and I'm more than happy to move it further along. When the NRA can, can, can stop the Congress of the United States from uh, passing common sense legislation, we're in trouble as a democracy. Uh, overwhelmingly, people want to see some level of background checks on a universal basis. Someone should not be able to buy a gun over the internet without a background check. Someone should not be able to go into a gun show and buy uh, a gun without uh, a background check. It doesn't make any sense. Let's you know, you just uh, led with a statistic about 79% of Americans are fearful uh, uh, that there'll be a terrorism attack. But 30,000 people in America will die of, uh, from gun violence, and some of that will be with guns that, that would not be in the hands they're in uh, if there had been universal background checks. In your statement, Governor, you said the public shouldn't be fooled into thinking we're powerless. All we need to do is use common sense. If Congress not going, is not going to act, I will, and I encourage other states to do the same. So if other states reached out to you and said, hey, Governor, we're with you, and have you reached out to other states? Uh, other states have reached out to our office. We're sharing our information. We are discussing this with federal authorities. I think we're going to have an agreement to, to make these lists available for background check purposes only. Um, that's all we're asking. Uh, when we do a background check in, in Connecticut, uh, we should be able to deny someone uh, the, the ability to purchase a, a gun, subject to an appeal, obviously, um, uh, if they're on that list. It, it's just common sense. What, what American doesn't think that, that that's uh, the right thing to do? What about the concern? that some people say the list is flawed. Well, you know, there, you know, the argument there is things aren't perfect, therefore we should do nothing. Um, what I'm, I, I want to be very clear, we deny people the right to buy a gun in Connecticut. It's subject to appeal. M many of those appeals are uh, granted because there was a mistake in the paperwork or some, uh, uh, some other thing had happened. Uh, I'm not saying that we unilaterally uh, uh, per and permanently prevent someone from being able to purchase a gun, uh, but, but we should be able to stop it if they're on that list. If, if, if we're not going to let them on a plane, why are we going to sell them a gun? Governor, what list are you talking about? What is the specific list that you will be using in Connecticut from the federal government? Well, there's, there is a terrorism watch list, and I think that that's uh, a number one. There was a, a, a study that showed that uh, uh, people on that list were able to purchase guns 2,043 times year period uh, in the United States. Let, let, let me just remind you that 400,000 people have di died by gun violence in America since 9-11. Uh, 3,800 Americans have died worldwide as a result of, of terrorism. Uh, what I'm saying is let's make sure that we make uh, our country, our, our state as safe as possible. When you know there's a threat, when you know there's a threat, uh, we should be able to take action. Will federal and, and by the way, this is a much better discussion. I'm sorry. I was just going to ask, will federal officials actually give you access to these lists? Have they said they'll do that? 
Uh, we're having discussions, and I believe that uh, uh, I'm hopeful uh, that it will lead to uh, allowing us to use these uh, lists. That's why I said I will sign an executive order as soon as uh, that agreement is reached. Um, uh, we are in discussion. Uh, 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 there's a lot of support in Washington for, for doing this. There's an understanding that this makes uh, citizenry uh, uh, safer. And I think ultimately what we're also trying to do is let's have this uh, as a national discussion uh, out in the open um, so that people really understand that there are senators and congressmen who would deny uh, this protection to people, the very same uh, congressmen and senators who uh, don't want to let, let uh, refugees who go through a, a up to 24-month screening process uh, into our country, or candidates who don't want to uh, let uh, uh, people of certain faiths come into our country. Let's have a sane debate about the things that we could do right now to make ourselves safer. Thank you, Governor. Thank you very much, Governor Malloy. Can Los Angeles design its way out of the historic